What's up guys, down on the video review for you. Um, this time I'm just going to do a real quick and dirty little look at this guy. Um, this is the Whirl upgrade kit. It's the Head Robots drone kit to turn Tomahawk, in, uh, Hunt for the Decepticons Tomahawk into Whirl. Uh, I've been hinting at doing this guy for a while. Uh, I finally got him. I'm not going to bother showing you the uh, vehicle mode with him because it looks identical except he has these skids on the bottom of the helicopter. Um, as you can see, he completely removed the little hook feet. Those are completely gone. we got completely new flat feet. And the skids just pop on and off. If you don't like the skids on his bottom of his feet, by the way, you can just plug them up here like this and have them just hanging off. So they do give you options. I just like them on the bottom of the feet because they look like world. I also go in. I also have a G1 whirl, but again, storage. So I'm not gonna be able to show that off right now. So yeah, this what this kit gives you is okay. What this kit gives you is the head, which is just you can just see it's just the mono eye, very whirlish, very cool looking. Dig that. Um, gives you the head, it gives you this Gatling gun, this rocket pod, the whatever these are called, uh, sensor dealies. Um, the, one, the deal with the sensor dealies is you can have them connect either on the pe transformation peg to hold the legs up into the body, so you can just snap that on have it on his thighs, like that, or if you don't like that, you can just physically hook it around his ankle joint and have it down there at his ankle. That's totally up to you. Um, I like it up in the thigh because I feel like on the bottom it's too busy and on the, I feel it's more secure there anyway because you actually have a peg to peg into. You can display them with or without the skids. Um, the feet, like I said, are now flat. They come in two pieces and you just pinch them together. Um, and he's got the skids to stand on if you wish. If not, like I said, you can peg them up there, get them out of the way. Uh, and like I said, in robot mode, you just it looks exactly the same, except you could put the skids on the bottom of his feet, and you um, store the weapons. You got rid of the launchers, and you store the weapons where the launchers went. Um, the Gatling gun also rotates, but I'm not going to rotate it because it's actually two pieces. I don't want to drop it and lose it. The only downside... I do love this guy, because I do love Whirl. Whirl is basically Deadpool in Transformers comics. So he's really great. I really do like him as a character. And I think this is a decent representation of him. I think he will work you know, perfectly great in a record set now. Um, the only downside to him I have is the head. Because as soon as you start maneuvering the head, posing it, all I did was lift it up, comes right off. Now they said in the instructions that the joint may be loose, so you might want to tighten it with glue or nail polish or something. The joint is plenty tight, it's just that as soon as you start maneuvering it, it has no place to lock onto. So as soon as you start just the slightest maneuvering it, it just pops off because it's just on it's on a groove. It's not enclosed. So it's just open back there and you just slide it on. So there's nothing really for it to hold on to. So I mean it's fine because I'm not a kid and I'm not going to be playing with this like a child. So you know I can pose it on the shelf and leave it there and be totally cool with it but just be aware of that little nut fact dealy nut fact really nugget I was gonna say nugget that's what I was gonna say nugget and I said nut fact yeah so yeah um, I totally dig it mostly because it's whirl um, he's got the center pods like whirl um, different weapons like Whirl. Um, I do kind of wish he had an antenna sticking out of one side. A little nitpicky. Not complaining. Just one thing I wish they would have added. But uh, if you do see this guy, the kit from Head Robots. Um, if you do like Whirl, this is probably the best representation of Whirl we're going to get for a while. Although Hasbro is now doing the IDW figures for this year. So maybe we'll get a cool Whirl, because Whirl in the newer comics, he's kind of like a hover. I see. I was gonna say hover helicopter, but that's it, the helicopters do hover. Uh, he doesn't have the rotary blades. He's got like two like pods on the sides of him, 
and he kind of like flies that way. He doesn't have like a big rotor on the top. He's kind of like a futuristic kind of helicopter. Uh, I think he's, you know, it's different than a, you know, a normal helicopter, but it's still totally cool. I just totally dig his character because he's a, <laughs> he's a smart ass like me. So I like that. So yeah. Take another quick look. Got like a rocket pod here and a Gatling gun here. The Gatling gun I heard does stress, so I didn't plug it in all the way. Just plugged in enough to be, you know, totally sturdy and not go anywhere. But just be careful when you force it in there. He can hold that in his hand too, but I think it looks cool as a Gatling gun and, you know, underslung. So there's definitely options with this guy. So yeah, if you do like Whirl, he's worth picking up, definitely. Uh, but I am happy that I got a second uh, Tomahawk figure to do this, so I didn't have to sacrifice my only Tomahawk. Because I do really like Tomahawk. I do think he's a good figure. I do really like him. So yeah, this has been the video review for the Head Robots Drone Upgrade Kit to turn your uh, Hunt for the Decepticons uh, Tomahawk or your Dark of the Moon Vortex, who is like a $35 figure because he only came out in Japan, so you have to import him. And he's more like a he's more of a Vortex colors from the Combaticons, so he's more like bluish and purplish, but the kit's only one kit, so he's going to have the black head and the kind of gold chromey weapons and the black feet and everything, so I'm not crazy about how that kit looks. If they came out with a separate kit, because the Vortex figure is more accurate to uh, to World in terms of colors, but the kit isn't. It, the kit makes it look less accurate. So if they came out with a purpley kit, like a purplish, like bluish colored kit to match the Vortex figure, I would say get that. Um, if they don't, because as of now they haven't, I would say get the black kit, get the get you know use Tomahawk. It makes it the colors match perfectly this way, and the Vortex eh, not as much. But Vortex is a very cool looking figure, and he's definitely more accurate color wise to World Worlds and more of a bluish color. So yeah, like I said, if you do like World, totally worth picking up. Just be aware of the the head flaw and this some. Um, it's this plastic of the weapons is iffy. So just be very careful when you handle it and you should be fine. Like I said, put it together, throw it on a shelf, look at it, admire it, be happy you have it, and that's it. So yeah, this has been the video review for the Head Robots Drone Upgrade Kit to turn your Hunt for the Decepticons Tomahawk into World. IDW World, Workers World, whatever world you want, he's World.